Here we're going to look at how to multiply decimals together using vertically and crosswise. And it's really quite simple. Uh, let's take an example of 0.23 multiplied by 5.4. Now I've placed the digits in not in place, place value, so I haven't put the 5, which is the units digit here, under the 0, but I've placed the, the digits so as to suit the vertically and crosswise pattern. And that makes things far easier. So we're going to treat this as 23 multiplied by 54 and then sort out the decimal points later. So 3 fours are 12 and we have 8 add 15 makes 23 add the 1 makes 24. And then the last step, that's 4 with 2 to carry, and then the last step, 2, 5, so 10, add the 2 is 12. So we've got these answer digits, 1, 2, 4, 2, and then we have to find out where the decimal point goes. Well, the easiest way is to remember this rule, that the total number of decimal digits in the two numbers to be multiplied is equal to the number of decimal digits in the answer. So you can just count... 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, and so the decimal point goes there. And again, if you have, um, uh, let's take another example of uh, 0 0.00234 multiplied by 12.3. Again, I'm going to place these two numbers so that it suits the vertical and crosswise pattern. So I'll place the 12.3 below here, 12.3. And now we'll do the multiplication using the three digit pattern. Four threes are 12. We have nine add eight is 17, add one is 18. Six add six is 12, add four is 16, add one is 17. Then we have 4, add 3 makes 7, add 1 is 8. And the last step, 2 ones are 2. And now we have 5 digits in the pattern, but we've got to sort out where the decimal point goes. So we just, as before, we can just count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So we need 6 digits after the uh, decimal point in the answer, and in which case we have to place a 0 here. And that's it. 